Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sab if we've never met before and this is my channel where I talk about my houseplants mostly in passive hydroponics. So if you're interested in that kind of content, please don't forget to hit subscribe. And without further ado, our video today is just a quick Hoya haul. I'm so excited. I ordered with a bunch of my friends and we ordered a bunch of um, uncommon or hard to find Hoyas um, and it was shipped via bus to one of my friends who then consolidated everything and sent it to everyone. So I received mine today and I'm just so excited to open the package. I haven't seen the Hoyas. So I think I ordered um, three or four Hoyas and one orchid and I've never had and sorry my cat is walking around I've never had an orchid before so I'm really excited to um, see my first ever orchid for my indoor space and I hope I'll be able to take care of it so I will put the shop right here um, it's they have a lot of nice Hoyas they're based in Baguio City in the Philippines I do recommend if you're from the Philippines and are wanting to order Hoyas from them to look for a group of friends that you'd like to order with just because it's a bit expensive to get it shipped by a bus but other than that the service was great they were very accommodating when it came to answering our questions and um, editing the order so I definitely recommend their shop so let's just start oh my gosh okay Okay, so this, wow, this is a Hoya Bertonier. Yeah, it's a Hoya Bertonier. Look at that. It is so freaking fuzzy. And that's why I wanted this. Oh my gosh, and it, feel, it feels fuzzy too. It doesn't just look fuzzy, it feels fuzzy. That is so pretty. The pot does feel a bit wet which worries me a little bit but there's new growth there's new growth right there so i'm not so worried and it looks great i'm very happy so far look at this long tendril with new leaves coming in so i won't be potting this up in like a until maybe a week just to give it time to acclimate and just give those leaves a fighting chance Put it right there. So that's the Hoya Bertonier. And then we have. I actually got two of these. And this is from a different seller. This is a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. So this is often confused with the Crimson Queen. But the difference is that the variegation on these ones is inside. And the Crimson Queen, the variegation is outside like a line. So these are so hard to find in the Philippines. And I know it's really common abroad, but here it's just impossible to find. So I was so happy to have gotten these cuttings. And I'm so excited to grow it into a full plant. They look good. They're also a bit wet. Maybe my friend watered them before sending. I will, ask, I will have to ask him later. So that's the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. And there's also new growth here which is very good looks really cute i'm very happy about that okay so back to the original seller oh something i'm also very excited about is this hoya cantiana variegated and it's just so pretty how sun stressed it is and these are newer leaves, so I think it's actively growing. I'm not sure what those spots are. It might just be sunburn. I hope it's nothing um, fungal or anything like that. But I think it's probably just sunburn because you can see how sun-stressed these leaves are. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't full sun. But yeah, it looks really cute. It's a bit smaller than I expected. But I understand these are so hard to find. And I'm just happy I have one. And the lines on it are so prominent. I really love it. 
So that's the Hoya Cantiana Variegata or Variegated. Finally, we have my first ever orchid. Oh my gosh, I think it's blooming. I think that's a bloom. I'm not sure. If anyone is seeing this who knows orchids, please confirm for me that that is a bloom. Because if it is, I will be so excited. Wow, that's really cool. And I picked this orchid specifically because it has um, mottled leaves. You can see like it has a nice pattern. Because uh, I never really wanted to get into orchids because their um, appeal is their flowers mostly, right? And I don't know, I guess I like looking at my plants year round and seeing them look nice so you know with the mottled leaves i will be able to appreciate the foliage as well as the flowers when it blooms hopefully it blooms for me soon um you i will definitely be watching this guy and posting him on instagram so if you're not already following me at marble queen then please do but this is so exciting i do not know how to pronounce the name of this plant so i will be putting it up on the screen my friend taught me how to pronounce it and i still do oh my cat is here sorry my friend taught me how to pronounce it and i still i forgot <laughs> i'm sorry but yes it's a really beautiful orchid i'm a bit worried it looks wrinkly like this leaf looks wrinkly so i will have to ask my friend who's really good at orchids for advice regarding this and of course read up on how to take care of orchids he has told me that orchids and passive hydroponics don't really mix and i don't want to risk it especially for this orchid because this particular one is an endangered species so i want to be able to take care of it properly you know without <sighs> i'm sorry that's my cat okay <laughs> i think the camera is still shaking but anyway those are the plants that I got and I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!